All right, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a two gallon glass jar, a five gallon bucket, live rock, an aerator, sand, fishnet, small power head, and a siphon for the maintenance part at the end. When choosing the type of coral you are putting inside your jar, choose soft corals such as button polyps, pulsing zinnias, or mushroom corals. Also, don't forget to grab a handful of macroalgae from the store. And a bit of coral glue too. You're also going to need ocean salt and a hydrometer to measure that salt, reverse osmosis water, approximately 2 gallons, a fluorescent lamp, a timer, and hermit crabs and other small invertebrates that you want to put in here. So first you start off with pouring regular water into a bucket, and then you put salt into it, and then you go on using salt water. Using the hydrometer, measure the salt level between 1.024 and 1.026. Then you're going to need to plug in the lamp and the timer. Carefully glue the base of the coral fragment onto the rock. Then take the jar and put it under the fluorescent lamp, and then you're going to take the live rock and put it into the jar with the glued on coral and algae. After you rinse the sand, place it into the jar. Place the sand at the bottom of the jar around the live rock. Pour salt water mixture you made earlier into the jar. If you have any aquarium decorations, now would be a good time to place them in the jar. Place aerator and power head into the water of the jar, and then connect them to the power. After you got the jar set up, you can place the macroalgae into the jar. After letting the animals get used to the temperature of the water for 15 minutes, place them in a fish net. And you just simply drop them in gently. This will minimize the risk of spreading diseases into the jar normally found in aquarium water. About every two weeks, change out the water in the jar by sticking the siphon in. Unplug the aerator and the power head. Start the siphoning process, removing 90% of the water in the jar. With an old toothbrush, scrub any film algae that manages to grow on the glass. And replace it with newly mixed salt water. Plug everything back in. Be sure to keep the jar at consistent temperature between 70 degrees and 82 degrees Fahrenheit. If any organisms that need to be fed inside the jar 
keep feeding at a minimal rate in order to not pollute the water. If salinity happens to be too low, add salt. If salinity happens to be too high, add water. Until the salinity is corrected.